Hello again. Welcome to the Aspen's Shed. Uh, in recent weeks I've been uh, trying to machine uh, a set of castings from Stuart Models. This is the, the S50 stationary engine uh, as opposed to my last attempt at making my own engine which doesn't look very good it runs but it doesn't look very good uh, from Stuart you get a set of castings for the cylinders uh, steam box a flywheel and other bits and pieces and uh, you have to machine them up well my, my machining skills are not the greatest but we have barring uh, one or two rickets and as you know rickets are mistakes uh, I finished up with the engine uh, so far it's uh, not fully finished by any means but it is Today I've just managed to uh, complete most of the working parts and uh, for the first time this afternoon I tried it with a bit of air. Uh, I had set the valves but I've got no gaskets on the air box, steam box, steam chest, valve box there's no gland packing in any of the glands the cylinder caps are just held on with two screws each uh, and it amazed me because I put a bit of air on it and uh, it runs and it shows every sign of it what, been able to run slowly which is what I want so that's the third engine I've built that's run uh, it's still got to have as I say a lot of finishing work uh, the guides for the crosshead, I've got to be fitted, machined and fitted. Um, there's a few nuts got to be put on to lock things in place. And as I say, we've got to put packing in the gland nuts. We've got to uh, tap for a, put an exhaust pipe on it and an inlet pipe. And then I'm going to paint it. So we're getting really serious now because uh, painting is something I don't normally do. But I bought pa paints to do it. Uh, so I'm going to try and completely finish it. Uh, I'll just turn the camera off for a second and uh, put, take it off its mount. And I'll just pan round my workshop so you can see the tooling I've got to do this and as I say my machining is not 100% oh there was just one fault with the castings other than the messes I've made is it's not, no big deal but the cover on the steam chest uh, has um, chilled and round the edges and where I needed to drill holes it's glass hard and uh, the drills wandered off in that hole so I will be making a mild steel cover to replace that uh, and that's the only thing that was wrong with the kit the rest of the faults is what I've made I'm good at making faults if they had a competition for faults, I'd win every time. 
I, I drop some right rickets when I'm working but in the end it runs anyway tour of the shop well basically 12 months ago uh, I built myself a workshop in the garden and uh, ricket number one when I was building it was the fact that uh, I decided I wanted a 16 by 10 workshop. Uh, I went looking for 16 by 10 workshops and then I decided to build my own workshop. Uh, and I went ahead and built it 12 by 8. So now I'm absolutely crammed in. Uh, I've got a small uh, lathe which does everything I want. It's a cr cracking piece of equipment. When I bought it I thought I've made a mistake but uh, doing a bit of work on it and uh, sorting one or two things out it, it's now a cracking little lathe no doubt about it uh, I've put things on it like uh, quick change tool post and various other bits and pieces tightened it all up done all the things they say on YouTube to do and it's uh, it works very well now I, I can machine all sorts of stuff I've even machined hardened um, well one of the hardened things I, I machined with these uh, quick change tool holders I machine those uh, latest development is a TIG welder uh, so I can have a go at welding aluminium, which I've never done. I've done all sorts of other welding, but not that. Uh, there's a computer here uh, attached to the CNC conversion, uh, milling machine conversion I did. So I've converted the mill to CNC, which, which works really well. Fabulous, in fact. Uh, I have a cheap drill press and uh, I'm not really happy with that, it's got a hell of a headache so I might buy another. I do like doing all sorts of jobs, uh, quadcopters, you can never have enough quadcopters in your shed and as you can see I've got lots of them hanging out in all sorts of places that I've built. Uh, 3D printers, that's worked very successfully. I've three, 3D printed me quadcopters and other things. Uh, but as you can see, I'm in a mess. I'm terribly tight for space. Uh, there's my surface plate with things balanced on it. It's just getting worse. I've even got I bought one of those band saws and I'll put it on a little trolley so I can pull it out and use it and then put it back. Uh, as I say it's getting very very tight for space in here now so I've got to work out a way of how to extend the shed without my wife noticing. Now this is going to be a very complicated procedure and any uh, thoughts on how to do it will be greatly received. Anyway I think I'll finish this video now and uh, 
when we get a bit further with the engine and get it finished I'll do another little video thanks for watching bye